what's going on YouTube this is Team Lotus coming to you with another Solomon Grape Deck profile and this is more of like a budget hand trap variant but let's go ahead and get into it so starting with the basic Solomon Grapes I play 3 spinny um then I played 3 foxy 2 wolf um the reason why you play 2 wolf is usually people are most likely going to banish this out of your graveyard somehow through uh, Call by the Grave or DD Crow some, somehow. And so also you play uh, Pot of Desire, so you just want to play 2. So I think this is correct. And for the 1 of, so you want to play with the 1 Gazelle, 1 Fowl, and then 1 Coyote. And I, uh, I've been testing this and I really like it just for like, it's a guaranteed... Solomon Gray didn't hand it end of turn, uh, well, at least on field, and that's always good too, because you can trigger off wolf effect. Um, and then for the extenders, because this is more of a budget variant, um, and I don't really play uh, the Sinek Mining, so I use more of extenders to get towards the Gazelle, and so I played uh, three backup secretary, and then... Uh, to Ruclusia. So the guaranteed uh, level 3 is on the field. There's special summon bull. Um, and then I don't play Phantasme, but I played Buffalo. And so you still can get at least a good draw 2 out of it. Um, and then for the hand traps, I played 3 Ash. And 3 uh, Effect Veiler. Um, I feel like playing three and three, you always m will have at least one of each in your hand, if not at least one, and, uh, you want to have at least as many of hand traps and then the traps actually, uh, set on your field at the end of the turn if you want first. Um, also the hand traps, at least having at least one or two in hand for having to go blind second, um, it helps really well that way. So have at least three and three, make sure you at least get one of each. Um, then you play three call by the grave because it's still considered a combo deck in a way. And so you just don't want to get hand trapped and this helps. And then you pl I play two uh, Pot of Desires for consistency. And um, as I have a love and hate relationship for this card because you do banish 10, sometimes you have to banish those important one ofs. Um, but other than that, are uh, like outs to cards that are on your opponent's field. Other than that, it's uh, really good for consistency and uh, it does help out a lot. Then I played uh, the one full burial. This is like another spinny or another jaguar. And then uh, for Nibiru to play around that, I play uh, three will to summon great. Plus, this just helps out for extending, and that's really good too. Then I played the one circle, then the one uh, sanctuary, and then I played one a main deck one fear and a fire. Uh, even even going first second turn using this is really good. Uh, it's a good side out. Um, if I would do that, but I really like using the OTK for this format. Uh, with like uh, Helio and the um, Chimera, and then so my ratio for the traps I played two Roar and one Rage. So the reason why I want to do this is because Roar I can use twice per one card essentially, but I have to banish it after the second time. So I want to be able to use that four times, essentially in a duel, unless I keep adding it the hard way through Wolf. And then Rage, I mean, I can just keep on adding this one through Wolf. And so, and then Extra Deck. I played uh, two Banelinks because I'm pretty good with resources, and I've never actually needed any more than two. And then I played three Wolf. This is like the, one of the best of the Solomon Grades. I mean, it helps uh, recycle. And then I played two Heat Leo. This is just good for uh, dealing with back row and attacking. 
then I played Update Jammer. It just really helps uh, making a monster attack twice. Honestly, that's the only reason why I really play with it. Um, having on field when you are attacking though too, them taking another thousand if it was a Cyber monster, I believe, uh, is really helpful too. But it's really attacking twice is all I use that for. And then I use some uh, the nightmares. I played three, so just m mostly I play these for removal. Um, and then I played Boral Load. Really, I like using uh, Update Jammer with Boral Load and just making this attack twice and still be able to uh, take a monster that just m broken in my opinion. Um, some great uh, Stalio. I only play one. I can recycle it, so I only play one. Uh, best Willer, one of the best cards in the format right now. And then Chimera for the OTK. So, and then, um, for the side deck, I played three Artifact Lancia, uh, for Orcus, um, Cyber, or, uh, Thunder Dragon, and then for the mirror match, I played DD Crow. This is also actually really good against Orcus, too. And then, uh, Nibiru against Thunder Dragon, or the mirror match. I mean, it, pretty much any meta deck that combos off. And then for going second, helping out going second, I played uh, Paker Tops. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in there, but this is still a really good side deck card for going second. And then I played the Dark Roller No More. Alright guys, if you guys like the deck profile, just give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys.